just read this cute little book called The Twelve Bugs of Christmas with lots of different drawings of bugs. So we're going to do, we're going to make some bugs ourselves. And did you see in the story that David Carter made a bug from a fruit cake and he made a bug from a cuckoo clock. See those little eyes that look side to side. And what else? Can you think of another thing? What did he make here? Ooh, out of candles. He put some eyes and little smiley faces on candles and look at this. Looks like a little funny expression there. So we're going to make bugs out of some different things. So we might want some coloured pencils. And if we haven't got a coloured pencil, we can use a lead pencil. And I've been looking to see what things I've found. I found a spatula and I found a little gadget for taking, uh, making lids easier to remove. I found a spring. This is a tag off a tea bag. I've got a red one and a green one. And I have a little piece of an eraser. A leaf from the garden. So there's all kinds of things. But th there might be all kinds of things, something interesting that you've got at your house that you might like to use to make a bug. We've got a paper clip. A washer. A sticker. A little piece of paper that I found on the studio from when someone was doing some cutting. Got a, a different shape leaf. Oh, isn't that funny? That looks like a little pair of legs. That's something for soaking tea leaves in to make a cup of tea. This is a funny little thing. It's a seed pod, a fruiting pod from a plant in the garden. A spoon, a peg, a fold back clip. Could be that shape. Could be that shape. Lots of different things there. And a tiny wee screwdriver. Tiny little screwdriver. So what I'm thinking that we can do is choose an object. So I'm going to choose this paper clip. And I can either trace around the shape of it, just holding it a little bit carefully. It's a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. Or I can just look at it and see that it has a line that goes up and across and down and then back up and down. So I can do a line that goes up and across and down and up again and down again. What might I do to make these into bugs? So we might do eyes. I do do two big eyes for my bug. Oh, they are funny looking eyes, aren't they? And it might need some antennas. Might do twisty curly antennas. And 
and do some legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this time, I think I'm going to, for this one, I might use a different colour. I might use orange. I've got an orange pencil here. So this time, I might make his little face be in here. There's a little, there's some eyes. And I might do the antennas off there. This time I'll do straight antennas with little blobs on the end and I might make legs with little round circle feet. be fun to make him be stripy. Sometimes you see stripy beetles. I haven't seen a stripy beetle that looks quite like a paper clip though, have you? Now what about this? I think this could be an interesting beetle. So let me have a look at what the shape is. We can trace around it. That would be a really big beetle. Sometimes you see really big beetles in the garden. Look at that. So this is actually, well, originally it was a kitchen spatula, but it's not a kitchen spatula anymore. So I think you have seen it in my studio. I think you've probably used it for painting. I've used it for painting just this week. On a painting that I was working on. So it doesn't go back in the kitchen because we don't use painting things back in the kitchen, do we? Now, this looks long, so I could put this could be the head, and uh, or this could be the head. And I think, look, there's even a little circle here in the top. So I'm going gonna, gonna to draw that circle. And now that I've drawn it, I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe I might make it be um, a, I might do poppy eyes on sticks, like a, you know when you have a look at a snail and their eyes go up on stalks, that's called, and they look all around the place. Those are funny eyes, now I'll put little, some dots in there. Might even give it eyelashes. That'd be a bit fun. And antennas. What kind of antennas do you think I could do here? I might do heart antennas. One. Might do heart antennas. Colored in. And, and this could be the body and it could have spots. Oh, what if I did heart spots and dots? That would be a bit fun. And I could do wings. See, this one could have wings. Maybe heart shaped wings. And maybe I'll do ballet legs. Like, do you remember the ballet bugs in the story? There were some dancing bugs. And uh, they have lots of legs, don't they? Have a, how about another dancing leg out here? And another one down here. And one 
kicking out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, because, well, insects have six legs, but these, our bugs can have however many bugs you would like to give it. So it's just your imagination. So we're going to make all kinds of things, and then when we get together next time, you'll be able to show me what interesting things you were able to find to make bugs out of from little household objects just using your imagination. Right, so there's another couple of little eyes. And Miss Cotton, this one could have a little tie. Oops. There we go. It could be a bit of a pattern with some buttons. And big shoes. Hmm. Don't really see bugs with shoes, but we can do all sorts of pretending and make things up from our imagination. One, two, three, four, five, one more. Oops. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like he's got an extra extra joint in his leg. He's got an extra bendy. One extra bendy foot. And I'll give him a little shoelace. Just because that's a bit fun. And I think with that extra bendy leg, it might be a bit broken. So I think he might need a band-aid. Give him a little band-aid on there. He might need to get that leg fixed. All right, so I'll look forward to seeing what interesting things you can find around your house that you might be able to use to make a beetle or a bug. And you might find just one object and you could make a whole page of lots of different bugs out of just a peg or maybe even how many bugs do you think you could make just from the shape of one little tea bag tag or a lid from a milk bottle. See you later. See you next time.